All right, guys. So today we got a yard machine, uh, push mower. A uh, guy bought it at uh, a store in a box. Wants us to uh, put oil in it, assemble it, get it running. Um, so I'm going to do an unboxing and how to put it together video. This is uh, model number 11A B0M A700. All right, guys, let's go ahead and do this. Um, I'll see if I can find this online so that you can buy it and just have it mailed to your house and stuff like that. All right. All right, first thing we're going to do is go ahead, open up the box. Pretty basic push more style machine. This is a, a a different motor. I haven't seen one of these in my shop yet. This almost has like a Kawasaki or Subaru clone feel to it. I've never seen the air filter. Oh, it's a foam filter, so easily cleaned. Such this card. Oh, and it's got the gas cap. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this thing out. All right. Uh, it comes with a. Uh, side shoe oh look at this here i'm gonna open this thing up the side shoe bag of oil look at that 10w30 you can use 1030 or 1040 um in your lawnmower 1030 is perfect for when you're first using it and it's got all the instruction manuals and stuff there all right so First thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is take off these ring nuts on the back. Just, uh, you know, it's got the uh, bolt with a little square on it. This is actually gonna go on the inside like that when you get the handle up, because that square sits in the uh, in the slot that's on that, and then oh, and then the wing nut goes on the outside. three different holes on your handlebar. Each of those holes is a different height setting for the handlebar itself. It can be higher or lower. I'm going to set it the highest setting. Set the bolts from the inside towards the outside. Like so. Uh -huh. Drop these wheels all the way down. Tighten it up. Look underneath. If you look underneath, you'll see that the handles are sticking out. 
So this blade was going to hit and it's not going to start. So all we need to do is undo these wing nuts right here and pull them out. And then there's another hole in these handlebars for these to go in. So we got to pull them out this direction to get them to where the holes line up. And we're going to squeeze the, uh, oh no, you don't even have to squeeze the handle. We're just going to pull this out, just slides right up, find the holes. There we are. Dab these through. Screw them back down. Alright. Now, we're going to get to the motor side of it. Before we do any gas, we're going to dump oil in it. Put some oil fill on this thing. Oh, here we go. Let's see if you can see it there. Yeah, it's right here. It has a dipstick in it. You're going to fill all the way up to this, to the tip of this. You see those check marks? That's the full mark. What, the lowest part and the highest part. I always feel right to the highest part. And this is 15 ounces. I believe this is an exact measurement of how much oil to put in there, 15 ounces. It's just under a quart. So I'm going to just unscrew this top. Stick it right down in the hole. Then we put the dipstick in, make sure it's on level ground, yeah. screw it all the way down in, and then unscrew it all the way. Look at your level, that's right at the top. 15 ounces, perfect amount of oil. Screw it all the way in. All right, now we've got the pull rope. We're gonna loosen this up a little bit. Let's get this thing up on the handles. We're gonna pull the pull rope towards us. Put the rope into the handle. And tighten her into the yeah the, the loop on the handle. Tighten it all the way down. Um, we put the oil in so we can take this little yellow tag off. The basic says add oil before using. We're going to dump some gas in it. I use Rec 90. Uh, ethanol free 90 octane gas. Uh, take this off, don't need it. Take the uh, packaging off of here. I need my old timer. This plastic thing. Front door open. Tight and solid. Fire it up. Okay, so this has a primer ball on this side. 
we're going to prime it, let's see, does it say three times? One, two, three, and we're going to pull it over. Go ahead, Robert, pull that over. It took two pulls, uh, but it's the first time it's starting. It probably start first time every time. We're gonna try it one more time without priming it. See what it does. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. It's ready to go, guys. All right, I hope this video helped you guys out. Pretty simple on putting these things together. Um, without doing this video, it would have taken me, you know, ten minutes. All right, guys. Uh, oh hell, it only took ten minutes on the video. All right, again, give me a thumbs up. Loud trucks. Give me a thumbs up if this helped you out in any way, shape, or form. Uh, I will find one of these in the description below, or in, uh, put a link in the description below for you. Um, yeah, uh, if you want to do any advertising on my channel, message me. I'll be more than happy to have you. Peace.